Uh, hello everybody in this playlist uh, I will show you how to code C++ game using Direct2D of course so that's uh, the first video you hear in this video in this uh, first video uh, I just show you how to create uh, your project okay uh, so let's create uh, our project using Visual Studio of course uh, the first thing here we create a new project <clears throat> and here so that's C++ window all project type so just choose uh, an empty project uh, here choose where you want to put your project and name it for example uh, direct2d Uh, again and press create so your folder created so that's it here uh, that's our folder and our project created so th it is uh, an empty project okay so the first thing we want to create our uh, C++ file so just go to source files uh, right click add new item and choose for uh, C++ file okay uh, and you can ch you can change the name of this file for me I just want to let it as is and press add so that's our file here we will write our code but before I start coding, uh, there is some properties I want to change. Uh, here, <clears throat> here that's 86. 86 means my application works in 32-bit systems. So I let it 86, okay? Uh, for debug here, change it to release, okay? And now go ahead over the name of the of your project right click and go to properties uh, and here so that's release here so go to linker and systems and change this property here subsystem here if if I let it console when I create my window because the game is a window uh, project when I compile I will get the linking problems so because that I want to change it to windows another thing is uh, important also uh, so go to C++ and go to code generation and go to this property runtime library here sometimes when you download some program when you run you find maybe you find uh, DLL errors that's because this program uh, needs some DLL to work and this DLL are missed in your computer if we if we change this multi-threaded debug the compiler compile this DLL so your program don't don't need any external DLLs it works in all Windows machine okay so choose this uh, multi-threaded debug and press apply and press OK so now we can start uh, coding so the first thing we will create our 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 window so in the next video we will see win main how to create how to use the function win main okay so that's all for this uh, for the for this video uh, so see you soon